Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you drop in today. You ought to make it a habit and hit that little subscribe button. That way you can catch all my videos and visit with me more often. But anyway, thanks for dropping in. Today, I'm going to be making some pickled squash. This is something my mom made for years, and I just kind of kept on doing her same little recipe. It's simple and easy. And I love pickled squash, but it ain't just pickled squash. It's got pickled squash and bell peppers and onions. And today I'm actually, I always made it out of yellow squash. But today I had some zucchini squash and some green egg squash that I cut up, and I'm going to pickle. The first thing I do is I cut up my squash, bell peppers, and onions. And I just kind of coated it with salt, tossed them around. Some pickling salt, what I use, just canning slash pickling salt. And I put them in the ice box for a minimum of an hour, but it don't mind if it's two or three hours. And they've been in the ice box. So what you need is 10 cups of your squash cut up. Like I said, today I'm using, I ain't just using yellow squash, I'm using zucchini and some green egg squash. But you need 10 cups of squash, two cups of bell peppers and onions. A lot of people like to use the colored bell peppers, that way they can get the yellow and the green and red, and it kind of makes it pretty in the jar, but that don't have nothing to do with the taste. After you get it cut up, like I said, I cut, cut everything up and put it in this pan, covered it with my salt, tossed it around, put it in the ice box for a minimum of an hour. You need two cups of white vinegar, three cups of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of pickling spice, And I always put about three quarters of a spoon of red pepper flakes. Now right now I got my jars already washed and they over here in my water bath canner in the hot boiling water sanitizing them. I got my fire on in my pot. And I went on and put just a one cup of water in there. Now we're finna add two cups of vinegar. I have used apple cider vinegar doing this. We want three cups of sugar. Kind of spread that out in my juice is down in there. One and a half tablespoons of pickling spice. This is a two cup measure, so I, I mean a two tablespoon measure, so I just didn't quite fill it up. And it calls for a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, but that's optional. So I don't measure it. I just kind of sprinkle me some in there. And give it a little stir. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. That makes about a total of a cup, because this ain't a cup. I had just a little bit in the bottle while I had the burner on. Add 
after your sugar after your sugar's melted you can stop stirring it in and just bring it to a boil, rolling bowl once it comes to a rolling bowl you want to dump your squash peppers onions all in there kind of stir them around get them evenly bring it back to a rolling bowl and then cut the fire out at that point we get our jars out of the water bath canner We'll fill our jars and we're going to set them back in a water bath canner and water bath them for 10 minutes. So in this little video, you kind of learning how to do some water bath canning. Concoction over here is just about in the bowl. So I go on and put my squash. I didn't, I didn't drain the water off of them one time in the sink. Better take this over to the sink so I can just pour this in here so I can make sure I got all the water drained off of them. I just use my Screen out of my fish fryer, it works good for draining water off the stuff. And our, we up to a bowl now, so I'm gonna just pour this in there. Be careful that splashing when you get vinegar hot. Set this over here out of the way. We just kind of stir it around. Don't knock the pot off there, Eddie. And I'm gonna put the lid on there and I'm gonna let that come up to a bowl. Now, it ain't gonna take that long. So I go on and I start getting my jars out of the water bath. They good and sanitized after being in that boiling water. Alright guys, we up to a rolling bowl now. I done turned my fire off. I got my jars out of the water bath sitting over here. I'm actually, what I like about my aluminum pot table outside, I'm finna set that pot, I don't think it's hot. Set that pot right over here where I can get to it. And at this point, I got my jar lids and some water here. I had in warm water. I'm finna go put some little more hot water on here. That'll wait a soft and a seal on them when I put them on the jar. I wash my lids and then I put boiling water on them to sterilize them. And that water had done cooled off, so now that's why I'm putting more hot water on here. Got your little foam, make sure everything you got squashed in boiling water to sterilize it. And I just start spooning it into that jar. Now man, I don't pack down in there, I just shake it. Then I get enough juice in there. To come up to about three quarters of an inch 
you're going to hear different things on different ones. Some's going to say a half inch, some's going to say one inch head space. I put about three quarter inch head space there. And I got this little flat tool here. You go around the edge of your jar, any kind of you jet can or something. Just kind of go around the edge and that gets your air out. After I do that, I take a clean paper towel and I dip it in just a little bit of vinegar and I wipe the top of my jar lid ring, top of my jar ring. Get one of my lids out of my hot water, stick on it. And you just put it on there hand tight. That was ready to set in the canner. When we get them all full, we'll set them in the water bath. If you ain't never canned before, you need to buy one of these new utensil tools. Because with this, the funnel, the deal to pick the jars up because see it's got a magnet on it you can pick these lids up out of that boiling water now if I would have went and been buying my bell peppers I would have bought the different color ones because it does kind of make it prettier having yellow squash and a green peppers in there and red peppers and yellow and orange peppers. It makes it prettier, but it don't taste no different. And if you ain't never eat no pickled squash or the pickled onions or the pickled pickled peppers, You ain't gonna taste no onion taste, and you ain't gonna taste no squash taste. You ain't gonna taste the pepper taste. It's just pickled in that vinegar water, and all them seasonings makes it makes its own flavor. I don't I don't I don't know no other way. I just like them better than I do just pickled cucumbers. And I, I like pickled cucumbers, but I like pickled this here better. I literally can sit down and open a pint jar like this and eat the whole pint jar without stopping. I also boil eggs, peel them. and pickle them in this same recipe. But now after I pickle them, I don't, I don't eat them. I let them sit till they cool off. And then I'll put them in the pantry. And I won't eat these for at least a week. Give them time to pickle in that vinegar. This year I'm gonna have some quail legs and I'm gonna be doing me some quail legs in this same, the same way. Everything will be the same except I use eggs. And I won't put no peppers or nothing in there, it'll just be pickled eggs. So guys, I got seven and a half pints. Now this half a pint, I ain't gonna put in the water bath. I let it cool and I just put it in the ice box and then I eat it. So now we wanna set our jars in our water bath canner. And this is a ball electric water bath canner. 
It can be used for a bat, water bath canner, or you can use it to cook big pots of soup. You can use it to boil shrimp in. You can use it to boil crawfish in. It's very handy, especially when you like me do stuff outside under your outside kitchen. You ain't got to worry about wind blowing your fire out on your butane uh, cooker that I'm using down here. When you water bath canning, you want to make sure that you water is a minimum, minimum of an inch over your jars. And you will hear people say different things about that. I just say a minimum of an inch because that's a good round number. Because it really don't matter if it's more than an inch or not, as long as it's underwater, but it's enough under, jars is enough under the water that can't no air get to it. So it ain't no scientific number out there. Well, it probably is with people nowadays. It don't mount the crap. And I put this little, all this is you set over the top of your jars, just kind of keep them from Bouncing around, put your lid on it. I turn it wide open, and when I see that water coming to a boil, I time it for 10 minutes. And that's my half pint that I got. Like I said, if you had your color, colored peppers in there, it'd be real pretty. So we finna let these bath, water bath for 10 minutes and we're gonna get them out. All right, guys. It's been a good 10 minutes. We get our jars out. I like to turn them upside down real quick. Turn them back over. I just sell them out. And I'll leave them sitting out wherever I set them until they cool down and you'll start hearing them lids pop when they start stealing. That's what we got. One just popped already sealed. Uh, if you new to my channel or new to canning, what I meant by sealed, see that top right there? That's the one that just snapped. And when you push on it, it don't move. It's sucked down. It's sealed. See, these right here are still pushed, pumped up. Pumped up like that. As they cool down and seal, it'll suck that lid down and that snap. Well, guys, thanks for watching my video. Hope some of you's looking for a, how to pickle and canned squash come across my video and you'll try this little recipe it's real simple it's real good easy to do please give me a big thumbs up maybe hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications when I have out new videos it really helped me grow my channel and I appreciate it much but anyway guys Enjoyed visiting with y'all today. God bless. Have a great day. See you next time.